Blog Talk Radio. Always look up, never give up, and you will reach your goals. You're important, you're more than enough. And here she is, your host for Rolling with the Diva, Sabrina Williams. Thank you. Hi and welcome. I am so glad to be on the air again. I'm doing shows about every two weeks. I am writing um, my book um, about my life and really working on being a chaplain. So I'm just grateful that you're here. Today's post is very dear to my heart, um, or actually today's podcast. Um, there was a young lady that was killed. She went to the Crossings Church, and she was actually not just killed. She was murdered. It's a murder-suicide from somebody she met online. And that got me to thinking, with all of the dating um, online things that I went through, um, that I've had to learn, and then just seeing how many women and men are being um, murdered or assaulted or attacked through online dating or used as victims or scams, I just thought we'd talk about it. So I found an article. Um, it's from a ranker, Vote on Everything, and it's by Jessica M. Thomas. And Jessica's name is spelled different. It's J E. S-S-I-K-A. Yeah, that's that's really different. So um, she listed some things. Um, It can, online dating can be amazing. And I, um, I can't attest to that. But you know what, it can for some people. And I've heard many people say that they've met their significant other, man or woman, or woman, woman, man, man, online. Hey, whatever works for you. But I have had nothing but horror. Um, with online dating. And one of the things I had to come to realize that I was attracting some of the most crazy people and they were like sharks in the water. They could smell the blood or they could smell the pheromones um, of my neediness or my needing to want to be loved. So I had to really work on that, work on my, um, and work on myself and ask God to help me bring me to a place where I wasn't going online to look for Um, somebody to date because I was lonely um, or I needed somebody, but because I truly felt it was time to date, but I would still be okay with being by myself. Because there's a difference between being alone and being by yourself. So, and those are things. And I mean, and and part of what I said earlier, just a few seconds ago, it has to do with your mental health. You know, you have to be mentally and emotionally clear in your mind and body and spirit before you can go seeking out somebody to give to you because nobody can give you what you need emotionally and mentally except for God. Maybe you're a person who's very depressed and you're trying to find that person that lifts you. That's not going to work. What you might want to do is seek counseling, pray about it, go um, and get some help. It's okay to say I need help. Not saying you're going to need medicine. Some people do. I'm on a, um, I haven't been, di- um, my diagnosis has been de- um I'm down to mild depression that I've had over my lifetime, but I do take medicine, and that medicine through exercise, eating right, getting sleep, and being honest with myself does help me. So I just want to, I'm really concerned that one of the questions when I posted online, and this, that what I called this show was online dating, does murder have to occur? And that's a question. Why does the murder have to occur when Sometimes it doesn't, and I'm not blaming anybody because a predator is a predator, whether, you know, it, it is. A predator is a predator, and I'm not blaming anybody. But sometimes we have to, like, take steps to protect ourselves. So we are, um, we're going to talk about that as soon as we come back from um, playing a song. You guys are on the air with Rolling with the Diva, Sabrina Williams. I'm your host. And before we go to the radio so, um, song, I want you guys to remember that 211 in any of the United States can help you with many things and referrals. So say you need a referral for domestic violence because I think it's about 46% of women have domestic violence of them and 43 or 42, those numbers are a little off. You can check the FBI's statistical data analysis for um, domestic violence. Um, and those are men, and those are intimate relationships, and those numbers are not too far off. 
you know, we're um, we just have to be mindful of who we who we're with, who we are, and be okay with ourselves. Because Jeremiah twenty nine eleven says, "I know the plans I have for you to give you a hope and a future of prosperous." God is not against you. He's not um, trying to harm you. But if you don't take action in your life to take care of yourself, sometimes things can happen, and it's not um, good. So online dating, why does it have to end in murder? I know that some people are like, wow. But um, some of the questions I have, do you know how to navigate through online dating? We're going to talk about that. Are you dating because you're lonely? We talked about that a few minutes ago. How does your mental health integrate into dating? And we talked about that. Um, if you're grieving and you go online because maybe you lost a loved one and you're like, I need, I can't do this by myself. I never thought I'd be alone. And I understand that I've never lost a significant other, but I understand where you're coming from because we can grieve different things. You're maybe grieving a loss of a job and you want somebody to cheer you up. And But the thing is, maybe you need to go through a moment by yourself, but you're not ready to do that. And then sometimes people turn to online dating where, again, you're just an honest person going online, being yourself, and said, hey, I'm just out here and enjoying myself. And, and then you go through, you know, different um, social media apps or things, and you meet a person who you think is real, and these person could scam you. Maybe they're like, oh, my God, you're the most beautiful person I've ever seen, and I've been looking for you and, you, and, and here you know in three days they wanted to marry you and telling you all these things and keeps you hanging on, hanging on, hanging on. And then they're scamming you for money or scamming you to get here to the country or something else. That's one way. That's called catfishing. Again, not who they say they are, but they're trying to scam you. So let's go to a song, and we will be right back. This song is called Send Me. Oh, oh, oh. 
we're right we're back with Rolling with the Diva, and that was Send Me. So I'm going to give you guys some statistics that um, from different articles I've found. And these people actually write some really great information. This is from ASTE, and it's www.aste.io slash scary dash online dash dating. Here's some scary online statistics by Julia Nashwashti. 10% of sex offenders use online dating. That's pretty scary. 3% of members are psychopaths. 51% of online daters are already in relationships. 12% of online daters are married. Wow. 10% of members of free dating websites are scammers. I found that out. I... Um, and this is the funny thing about the scams that I experienced, but I had common sense to realize. So these guys come at me and say, oh, you know, this happened two times, and I finally had to realize, you know what, that's enough of that. And I, I had to go keep going through times and times, but I finally realized it's me, and I, and I talked about it earlier. But they started with, oh, you're so beautiful, you're this and that. At that point in my life, you know, I was newly divorced, and I needed to hear that. And then I realized as time went on and they were like, oh, we're super, we're, we're so rich. We have this and this and we're going to come out to see you. One guy was so um, interesting that he said, oh, I'm going to buy you a brand new car. Hadn't met me or anything. And this is a true story. Hadn't met me anything. Um, he found the top like dealer here in um, Las Vegas. I went down there, um, picked out a car. He gave him the information online. And then after we did, I mean, he gave them all the information, bank accounts and everything. And then they had to say they had to wait for everything to process, which was on a Monday. Even the guy who was on the, um, was helping was like, something's weird about this. And I was getting that feeling, but I didn't want to recognize it or say anything. I didn't want to feel stupid. But so I just kept going on. Then the guy called me and he said, oh, you know, um, all my credit cards are tied up. I'm coming out to see you and, and I need you to send me $400. And I'm like, no. <laughs> one, I'm not sending you dollars We haven't met. And then he was like, well, I bought your car. Well, that's still going through a process, but I just kept, my thing is, why would you need $400 from me if you're super rich? You know, that's was my question. And, of course, Monday comes. He, he tries to pretend he's mad at me, and I just ignore him because I'm like, I'm not going for that. And then Monday comes, and then the cat light dealer calls me and says that all the information given was fraud, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? Okay, went on, you know, and then it happened another time. You know, it, this time this guy was pretending to be another famous movie star in, um, oh, my God, I can't remember the state. I'll remember uh, the, the the country. Um, but anyway, he, I met him, and we all, I had, felt I had a good history with him because we were in this game called Age of Kings, and we have been playing that game forever. So I thought, oh, my gosh, yeah, you know, and then we had all been talking. We all knew where each other lived, or so we thought, or so I thought. And this guy um, was talking to me, talking to me, and every time, you know, it was always he was gone for a couple of days and then come back, gone for a couple of days and come back. And I finally started putting a pattern together where he would talk like Monday through Wednesday, and then I didn't hear from him again until the next week or the week after that. And when I confronted him, it was always some excuse, and he was even – he was – so his nephew was famous, the famous guy, was on um, what's those shows like um, America's Got Talent, but it was um, it was in a different country. And um, so he would, um, he was saying he was the guy on TV. So the guy on TV, I'm seeing in the picture he's sending me, that's the person I'm seeing from, I'm thinking it's him, and trying to find out some other girls in this game contacted me because he had been trying to pull the same scam and they got his picture and and everything. So, you know, you just have to be really careful. So, oh, let me finish this. And 81 of the people lie on their online dating profiles. And you know what? I was one of those people who did not. And it was always funny because the guys who I met or, um, were like, they looked nothing like their picture in person, but it was, they were like, oh, I just gained a few, a couple of weights, a couple of pounds. Well, you gained a couple of pounds, lost a lot of hair. And, um, but me, and they were always like, oh, my God, you look like your picture. But that's the point that I thought it was. You're there to tell the truth, be honest. Why would you mislead somebody? Because people can get caught up in their feelings. So I wasn't trying to scam anybody, but I can see why. And then let's not forget about the people that were murdered online. That, and these are some famous cases. 
Adam Hilary was killed by a woman. Angela Russell was stabbed. Um, Usha Patel, Ingrid Lynn. Um, those are just a few. I mean, and it's just sad um, that people, they, they put their heart and soul and trust people that you have to be in this day, time and age and the industry that we're in, that you have to go back to old time dating steps of, you know, okay, I'll talk to you on the phone a couple times and I'm going to need to meet you somewhere in a public place. And you know what? And I was reading an article about, I think, two months ago. I would be taking one of my friends with me the first time. Because I, if that bothered the person, then there's not the person for you. Um, the lady writes, she's not a big um, big on writing this article, but it has to be said. Um, you know, a person. Um, and then you guys should be aware. If you ever notice, and this is what I started noticing when the guys who were befriending me, I never noticed it until, like, I just, one day I looked at it. Their accounts were new. They had just been made. And that's when I was like, wait a minute, you know, something's wrong with that. And then and then you start you start stopping and once I got my mental health in check and I realized that God is the only one who can give me the comfort and I'm the only one who has to see myself as beautiful, I was really on it. I was no longer a victim of the sharks or shark bait or anything. I was able to turn the tables and I think to date I've turned in maybe eight guys to Instagram and they've all other accounts have been um taken down because they were scammers and fraud. So just so you know, um, I don't know, just you can type the person in the search engine, um, but just remember it's not going to bring up everything and sometimes you have to pay for those. But I'm going to be honest, um, Christy Parvey, she's on my um, Facebook page. She's an amazing investigator. Um, about two weeks ago, I reached out to her because I was really interested in this person. We had talked, blah, blah, blah. But then some things didn't start to add up and things kept not adding up. And that's when I said, forget this. Did it, had a research him. I couldn't find anything on him. And she's one of the best in the world. And that's when I said, you know what? And I just said to him, bye. Because I'm worth it. God loves me. And I'm content being single. I truly am. You know, I don't, if I get married and somebody wants to date me, great. If I don't, I'm great. Because at the end of the day, I have a different calling in life. My calling is to help other people see where they need to be in life and see what God has for them and to share my story of that, you know what, no matter what happens to you, you can look to God and you can find glory in him and you're not the victim of your situation or circumstances or people that have done things to you. You are a child of God. You are a child of your higher power and you need to believe in you. Before anybody else can believe in you, you have to believe in yourself. We're going to play another song, and then we'll be right back. Thank you for listening to Rolling with the Beaver on July um, 16, 2015. Our next show will be on Thursday, and we will be talking about um, loneliness and mental health. And then Sunday we'll be on grieving. So we will be right back after we play this song. Yeah, our presence is traumatizing to a lot of you mofos. Yeah, <laughs> they ain't ready though. The legends raised me.
control your mentally. Infiltrators, that's you. Perpetrators, that's you. Police performance, that's you. Coaches, dealers, yes, that's you. Fake and phony niggas, that's you. Two lying on self, be true. Live with cool assassins, yes, yes. I'll murder you. Harsh realities of being immortal. Lots like a lot flee. Think you at the top when you really at the bottom. Me get your life, whatever you fit in, yo, it really don't apply to me. You
So, and then from there, I can schedule um, a place to meet in public with other people. I'm not going by myself with them anywhere. I bring my friends or have my friends nearby, let other people know where I'm going, but stay in that public place. Do not leave with them. Have somebody walk you out to your car. This is for men or women because you know what? If the person believes you're weaker, they can take, try to take advantage of you, okay? Highway hate crime. Um, Mike Sandy was getting ready for a night out with a man he was talking to online on October 8, 2006. Michael drove his um, Mazda to meet with the guy. They both drove together in Michael's car and um, for a popular place for gay cruising, for gay men, then Michael, there Michael would be killed. Michael had no idea the man was setting him up. Michael was confronted by three other men who beat him. They dragged him out of the car and started punching him. Michael scared, made a run for it, but he wasn't, um, he wasn't able to um, save himself. They pleaded guilty. A murder with no answers on November 16, 2012. Lee Swanson was headed out for a date with the man she was meeting on the first time. She told her mother that she was, she was getting picked up by Steve, Steve and Fabby. Um, she never made it back home. On November 9th, they reported her missing, and then he shot and killed himself instead of answering questions. Death piece by piece, this divorced 40-year-old nurse and a mother of three made headlines when she was missing. Um, she was headed out for fun, a night of fun, and aren't we all? Her kids were spending the night at their fathers. Her date, John Robert Charlton, had other things in mind. Once the game ended, he drove her back home. He told police he was intoxicated that night. And he couldn't remember having parts of Emmer's body were found later. And there was a saw. Wow. I could go on and on, but um, you know what? You guys get the idea. And um, you really need to be cautious of of yourself, what's going on, and um, and be aware of who's around you when you're dating, not giving them too much information, not meeting at motels not meeting at any places that are not highly visible for people. Um, if you feel insecure, go with your gut. Don't go. Because as, especially as women, um, we, we, that gut is God telling us something. Men feel it too. Um, but, yeah, I've read a couple articles here about Tinder. A lot of people were um, killed from being on the dating app of Tinder. That is in no way saying Tinder is an app. But it's just you have to be careful. I've been on um, – 50 and over app. It's, it's actually 50 and over dating. It's a it's a just an app for predators for men who are looking to get their kicks to who don't want to come out of their home and want to have online affairs. If you're having on if you're married and you're trying to see somebody else, that's a fair that's an affair. Just so you know. Um, but what I'm here to tell you is don't be scared to reach out for that love as long as you're mentally and healthily ready. But if you're not, then and when you're online dating, especially. Be aware of people instantly falling in love with you, telling you you're the most beautiful person in the world, and they can't wait to meet you, and then you set up a time and all this stuff. Don't do all that. If they're telling you they love you, run, because they don't. They haven't even met you. They don't know. And I truly am one who believes now to say you cannot love somebody until you meet them because of just the way online dating is. I just have that. I'm sure I do believe, though, that in the past when people were, um, you know, in different countries, and they mailed letters. That was different, but now it's just it's just wild. So please be careful. Take care of yourself. Be open and honest with yourself. Be open and honest with those you trust, and tell people where you're going. Again, don't meet people um, in places that are not secure. And, and, and even if you meet them someplace, don't go out with them. I would you now if I were. I mean, don't go out with them until you really know that this is the person, and you've you've done that. I tell people who want to date me now, I run a background check. And I, just like I told you, I did that. Please be careful. God loves you. So do I. Remember, um, if you're in a relationship or um, anything where you're being abused and domestic violence, please call 911 if you need it right now. Otherwise, call 211 and they can give you referrals for domestic violence. Men and women can be abused. So please, men, don't be scared. There's help for you too. May not be as many shelters, but there's help. People care, especially with more um, people being open with being um, gay and homosexual. That is their belief, but people do not have to die because they believe that's their belief. And other people do not have a right to take somebody's life. 
we are all children of God. God never murdered people um, or allowed people to be harmed like that because you didn't agree with them. Because you don't agree with somebody's lifestyle does not mean that you murdered them. Um, it's wrong. It's just it's just sad. So, um, yeah. And parents, when you have kids or teenagers who are depressed or may have mentally in, um mild intellectual disability, please be aware of who they're talking. Parents, don't be afraid of looking at your child's um, website because you're your parent. Take charge. You guys have a wonderful day, um, night, and we'll see you on Thursday. This is Sabrina Williams with Rolling with the Diesel signing off. We love you guys, and thank you for allowing me to be a few minutes in your time in your life.